What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Pastor Bo. Well, 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 I thank you again, Brother Brian Watkins of the Brian Watkins Channel. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's such a blessing to be here. Uh, well, like I said before, it's a blessing to be anywhere as long as you're above ground, amen? Amen to that. Well, brothers and sisters, thank you. I am Pastor Frederick Bowden of the As We Gather Ministries. Please keep tuning in to www.awgm.us. Brothers and sisters, it's such a blessing to be able to be here on the Brian Watkins channel to share a word with you from God's word. Amen. A word from the word himself. Praise God. Well, I got another word and it's in prayer. I ask that you please join me at this time. Most gracious and loving Father in Christ Jesus name, I thank you, thank you, thank you for the blessing that you have bestowed upon your children to be able to give us fellowship and a word and a message to fellowship upon in Jesus name. Father God, I ask that you allow all your children to maintain your word and your message spoken today deep into their spirits and straight out of their lips into the ears of their family, friends, loved ones, and even their enemies. Father, in Jesus name I pray. Thank you, Lord. And in Christ Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Well, brothers and sisters, it is a blessing to be able to come to you yet again uh, to share God's word and God's message. Uh, please don't forget to tune in to www.awgm.us. That's the As We Gather Ministries website. Brothers and sisters, belief. Brother... Bryant believed many years ago that he was able to do more in his life than what he had done up at that moment. And he dug into himself and he found the humor. He found the wittiness. He found something that he didn't realize that he had. Talent. And he brought it all up out of him. It's like he just looked down his shirt and said, wait, come on out, come on out, come on out. And he mixed it all together and said, here you go, world. And it was the talent. And that talent turned out to be the Bryant Watkins channel. Well, brothers and sisters, I thank uh, God that Bryant took that day and looked at it and examined it, examined it and himself and realized that he had more to offer in life. And because of that, here we are. Well, I also had that same belief. I had the belief that God has been so good to me. God has been so good to us. Amen? Amen. But I'm just talking about me personally. You know, uh, just thanking God uh, that he's been so good to me. Uh, and uh, one day, you know, it just all hit me at once. And I, and I realized it. Not saying that I didn't think about God. I didn't pray to God. I didn't read the scripture. But it was a now and then thing with me. But now it's a part of my life, brothers and sisters. But back at that time, I believed that God was so good to me that I almost felt uh, ashamed that I wasn't doing more in my life for God. So that's when I made up my mind in my spirit that I had to do better. I wanted to do more for God. And I believed and I had the belief in me that I was capable of doing so. Brothers and sisters, there is something that God has placed upon me to bring unto you today. And it lies in the book of John chapter 3, verse 16. We're talking about belief. But... I want you to hear what God has to say about belief. The word of God says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but 
have everlasting life. Praise God for that word, brothers and sisters. Praise God for that word. God said that he gave his only begotten son. No one took him. No one made God, Father God, give up our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. So he was able to become our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. But God's word let us know that he gave him. Why? It was because of the love that he is, which turned out the love that he had and has for us. His only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God says that whosoever believeth. It's not about color. It's not about nationality. It's not about race. It's not about where your social status is. Are you a wino crackhead living in the street? Or are you the queen of England? It doesn't matter because God says that whosoever believeth. And as far as that person who is addicted to drugs, alcohol, you keep believing in God because you will change. If you're sincere about having God in your life, oh, you can't help but to change. It may not be overnight, but you just keep on believing in Christ Jesus. Little by little, brothers and sisters, little by little. But God says that whosoever believeth in him. So we're not just talking about, okay, I believe that Jesus is God's only begotten son. Then you toss the Bible over your shoulder and you go back to doing everything that God is against. Oh, no. It's believing that God, through our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, brings us love brings us forgiveness, brings us salvation, brings us peace. He gives us the opportunity and the strength to change. Repent. Repent is to change, brothers and sisters. But see, do you believe? Do you believe that Christ Jesus is a teacher? Do you believe that Christ Jesus is a healer? Do you believe that Christ Jesus is a way maker? Do you believe Christ Jesus is a fixer? A fixer? Yes. He'll fix what's ever broken in your life. Do you believe? Do you believe in Christ Jesus? Because if you do, and not just to believe to say out of your mouth, but look into what scripture says for those who believe, for those who love, for those who accept Christ Jesus in their lives. You're going to change. And when you change, brothers and sisters, like God's word said today out of the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, everlasting life. Do you believe in Christ Jesus? Because if you do, everlasting life is awaiting you. Father God promised. Father God said that he is not a man. He's not like us. He's not a man that he shall lie. Because he is the truth. He speaks the truth because he is the truth. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, hold on to your beliefs. Number one, what we just spoke about today, believing in Christ. But there are some of you who've been doubting yourselves, doubting yourselves about going back to school or staying in school or finishing school. Some of you are doubting yourself about trying to go for that higher uh, position on your job. You don't think that you may be qualified. Believe in yourself. I believed in myself that I knew that I was able to do more for God by doing ministry. Amen. Amen. And look where I'm at now. Look where I'm headed. Amen. Amen. What about Brother Brian here? He believed. He believed that he had more in himself that he can offer unto the world. More in himself that he can bring up out of himself. And look where he's at. 
the Brian Watkins channel right on the very fringes of 2.3 million viewers. Well, thank you, viewers. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, viewers, from us both. And I say God bless you, viewers. And with that being said, believe in yourself, but first believe in Christ. Please join me. Most gracious and loving Father in Christ Jesus' name, I thank you for another message, another word that you have given unto us to be able to share while we fellowship in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you for the love that you are and the love that you placed in all of us, your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And in Christ Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Well, thank you, Brother Bryant. Yet again, well, thank you, thank you. I 